It is a manual seller day around the offices of United States sports franchises. Seller, who is a Brooklyn congressman, author of the House bill that would eventually change the relationship between sports and TV. On September 30th, 1961, President John F. Kennedy signed Seller's bill into law, the Sports Broadcast Act of 1961, which changed the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, and the NCAA. For the first time, a league other than in baseball could package its teams as one and sell it to a TV network. NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle lobbied Seller because Rozelle wanted the NFL to be just like Major League Baseball, which, because of a 1922 Supreme Court ruling, did not have to abide by antitrust laws and could sell its 18 teams as one to a TV network and the American Football League, which didn't bother with antitrust laws in 1960 when that league's eight teams were sold as one to Paramount's ABC TV. The key to Roselle's plan was to get all 14 of his owners to accept something called league think. Roselle had to sell three big market owners, the New York Giants' Jack Mara, the Los Angeles Rams' Daniel Reeves, and the Chicago Bears' George Hallis on the notion that they could make more TV money by joining forces with smaller markets than they could with individual networks. Green Bay would get the same money as New York. Pittsburgh and Baltimore would have better TV deals. Roselle managed to get all 14 owners to agree after studying the AFL-ABC deal and Major League Baseball's NBC partnership. NFL owners put the interests of the league before their own concerns, and the league took off beyond anything that Mara, Hallis, Reeves, George Preston Marshall, and Art Rooney could ever imagine. League think worked for everyone and enriched NFL owners. Emmanuel Seller changed American sports. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.